Hello, Estella. Now, here, here's a side-by-side -side of your historical photograph and the contemporary one of you and your family. Now, this is very interesting. Well, first of all, the historical one, much more stationary, serious, kind of, you know, um, formal. The father is in the seated position. Well, the mother is too, actually. Uh, the parents are seated. They have more authority. The youngest gravi daughter gravitated to the father. This presumably might be either the daughter and her husband or the son and his wife. They're more in the background. There's usually, a, in those days, there was a prop, like a Greek pillar. That's very typical. And, and it's, of course, it's black and white. Now, in your case, you mentioned the desire to have put the generations in an order. Well, um, that's all well and good. But this was very spontaneous, and the spontaneity of your pose speaks a little bit to, about your relationship. Now, you put your mother in the middle, or to, I mean, not in the middle, but yeah, pretty much in the middle, two on each side. And that's typical. You may recall, uh, if you see movies or situations where there are two guys and a girl in the car, the girl is always in the middle in the front seat. She's never on the side. It's just always seems it, it, there's a protective thing going on there. And it's the same thing here. Your mother is the most important one here. So she's in the middle. She's being protected. Your granddaughter is close to your grandmother. There's body contact and she's turned towards your, your mother. Also, the granddaughter, the you know, your granddaughter uh, is also being protected. And you get to hold her. So um, there's a special bond there. Your daughter is a little more on the outskirts. She's more of a bookend. Not, not to imply that she's any less loved, but there's more of a special bond here, the photo suggests, than between your daughter and her and uh, her grandmother. So um, that's that's kind of the way, uh, that, I think that's, that's what's going on here. Uh, also, look at this. Uh, the photo indeed is better in color, I think, than black and white. Here's the black and white. And the black and white in this case is much colder. This expresses the warmth of the occasion. It's your mother's birthday. And this takes away from it. Although, if one is to uh, look at this from another direction, as a pure group portrait, and not as a birthday occasion or like with a, that has, has warm, fuzzy overtones, then uh, one might argue for this black and white version. Okay, Estella, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Take care.